Hey, Gemini, it's Empress Rose here. Welcome to your reading. Hopefully this one has sound all the way through. Um, what a lot of interesting things happened this week uh, with my equipment. So, uh, I'm Empress Rose. These are general readings. We take what works, we leave what doesn't. As with everything, if I don't catch your wavelength or storyline on this reading, check your other major placements. We're starting with the Oracle of Mystical Moments for an intuitive vibe of where we might be going today. And then we're going to move on to the Apparition uh, Tarot deck, a more abstract deck, uh, to for a more traditional tarot spread. Although it's very abstract, so that's not very traditional, is it? Oh, right. Oh, I love this one. This is one of my favorites. This is Liberty. This is like the um, Eight of Swords card. Uh, free to go. See, I don't know if you can see it very well. I think... Um... Virgo just got this one. Free to go. You have freedom here. You're you're very used to, however, some sort of limitation or at least seeing a limitation. There's a there's a long held dream here and you're free to move towards it. Uh, but the limitation appears to be just in your mind. This is sort of my my uh, Shawshank card. This is the you know how the one prisoner um, in the Shawshank Redemption um, film, he he left the prison, but he couldn't leave the prison of his mind. So uh, this is, you know, Bob Marley's Emancipate Yourself from Mental Slavery, None But Ourselves Can Free Our Minds. So that's you. You've got some mind freeing. You're, you're, you're actually free to go, but your mind doesn't quite see it. It doesn't quite see the full amount of liberty and freedom that you have before you right now. And then we have, wait, oh, good grief. This is fascinating. I love this. Look at these two cards. We've got cages. Your heart, your heart is back here in this cage. Your heart is free to go. Your heart is free to, to move towards something you've wanted to move towards for a while. But there is this sense of being locked away. And then, but once, once, you're, once it's open, once it's open, um, then you are free to go. But there is a sense where your heart needs to be open. Your mind needs to be open. The physicality of the situation or the facts of the situation, you have a lot of freedom here and you are free to, uh, you've dreamt of something for a long time and you're free to pursue it. Uh, but um, your heart and your mind may be locked away. Your heart may not be seeing that freedom, may not be feeling that freedom, but you're going to find the perfect key. The, what I love about this this uh, card, I mean, sometimes we lock things away for their own safety. You know, your heart might have been locked away for your own safety here. Uh, but um, this is saying that you're going to, you the, the key, perfect key is nearby. It's not a long stretch. This isn't keys on trees where you're going to have to move your, your elephant trunk out and, and experiment with a lot of keys, you know, or, or figure something out, or it's going to take a lot of work. It's right here. It's right here. It's right on your shoulder. It might have to do with communication, it might have to do with talking, speaking, with opening your heart. Here we have a bird usually about, birds are usually about communication in this deck. And the other thing I'm noticing about this bird is it's green. It's heart chakra colored. Um, so there might be something about um, speaking and this one's all blue, which would be throat energy here. So there's something, might be something about communicating, about speaking from the heart um, and unlocking part of your heart so that you can communicate it and commun and share it more freely. This is this reading is all about freedom, that quest for freedom, that quest for, for um, the freedom to feel in a way. I feel like you, you need that. Um, Virgo got this reading too this week, that freedom to feel uh, and the freedom to communicate uh, how you're feeling. So when you're ready, the situation is already ready for you. The situation's ready. The situation itself is is open, is ready. It's just waiting on you to figure out maybe some internal mechanism of how you can feel safe opening up, how you can feel good opening up. Uh, something about um, about yeah, waiting on something, looking for an opportunity to open up and talk about something, something close to your heart. Those are hard to do, you know, that's a, that's quite a bit of vulnerability. It is so vulnerable to be human and to have all these feelings. I was thinking about that a lot this past week about that vulnerability of sharing how we really feel and It's very difficult. All right, Gemini. This is your past, your present, your inner landscape. 
What's the issue? Your environment. To do list. Possible outcome. That's funny. All right, we've got a couple court cards here and one major arcana, which will give us the overall idea that major arcana is a strength in reverse. So feeling very depleted, not having faith in, in, in where you're going, uh, maybe feeling like you want to give in, uh, feeling worn down, uh, not staying true to your own vision, to your own heart, to your own desires. That might be the overall for the reading. So three of wands in your recent past, you've had some sort of glimpse, some sort of vision. You, you had a moment where you had so much faith. You saw where something could go. You saw all the possibilities and you had a lot of faith. See, we can see this faith is going to light up this whole room, right? Oh, this is reminding me of that, that, uh, was it Mandela quote of, um, of, you know, light, uh, using using a light to ignite another light being inspired by somebody else's journey by somebody else's situation f feeling very inspired and from that inspiration getting some sort of vision or idea for for the good things for the amazing things that could light up your world that could bring in some beautiful uh a beautiful glow to your journey so three of wands is all about faith uh having a vision being a visionary and having faith that it can happen so at some point you uh, felt like you were you could see this I feel like this is related to this thing this uh, long long seeing vision this vision this dream and having this faith in it that it that it can happen it might be happening and now now we might be having a crisis of faith or we might be feeling too tired to do it um, and then we have in your current situation we have eight of pentacles this is about work this is very absorbing work. This is uh, fascinating to you. It's um, you're very absorbed by some sort of work here. Usually this has very much a like work uh, W2 form type work vibe to it or or maybe even you're a sole proprietor. It does seem to this card almost always seems to involve some sort of earning money and earning money in a way that uh where you're satisfied where there's a good good combination of your own inner pro of your own happiness and, and something that absorbs you so that's either on your mind or that does actually have you absorbed is is working uh moving forward with something you know she's got she's on the phone she's writing stuff down she's moving moving forward things are moving in her life but it is taking some very focused effort and work and the focus is not unpleasant she's not angry about it she's not bored she's focused so you might be thinking you might have had this vision you might be thinking about work that is um is absorbing for you and that you do enjoy uh but um or you are already very much absorbed in some sort of money-making endeavor that could be distracting you from this dream from this vision maybe um, or it could be part of the vision. You're working towards the vision. You had the vision and now you're working towards it. You're working on it. Um, and it's absorbing, fun, enjoyable labor. In your inner landscape, your hopes, your fears, uh, what you've been thinking about, what you're feeling, you have queen of wands. So this is, I like this because we, this comes after three of wands. You're thinking about, this could be you thinking about your own intuition and trying to get in touch with your own intuition, trying to understand it, um, trying to uh, focus very much on your own passions or wishing you could focus very mu much more on your own passions, on what lights you on fire, what makes you come alive and feel connected to the universe. Um, so there's this, uh, you could be hoping for that, hoping for a deeper connection to your own intuition, to your own inner guidance system. The queens are very much about the inner landscape uh, and the universe within and, and tapping into that. Um, and uh, so the, the queen, that's, that's the universe she's focused on is, or he, it doesn't matter. Um, gender, it's just the role. The role is the, the internal focus here. So internally focused on uh, your own intuition and your own. So I think uh, this would be a hope probably, especially if you're watching tarot, you're probably very interested in intuition and um, getting in touch with it and feeling strongly, 
feeling that that inner light very strongly, that inner vision very strongly. So there could be some uh, some desire to be more intuitive. I love how we are having a heart, heart and a heart. Your intuition has it been locked away? Have you um, maybe you know blocked it, blocked yourself from from for some reason from feeling it? And now it's free to go, but um, but maybe you you've blocked something here. Trying to open that up, trying to find the perfect key to open up, opening up that intuition. Um, I sometimes think that that even watching uh, these videos, um, these uh, tarot videos, it's a collaborative intuitive process. I'm using my intuition to read the cards. You're using in, your intuition to understand what part of your life this this uh, resonates with, or what part of your life this might be talking about, and and what it's drawing forward for you. So. Um, so you're really thinking about your own intuition and how to how to tap into it more, what it might be saying, um, and yeah, how to open it up a little bit more. Uh, but you do feel tired, right? I feel like this relates to this dream, uh, this vision that you had. Right now, there's like a sense of wanting to give up. Uh, this the way um, the apparition deck interprets strength is um, the story of Lilith not giving in, not giving up, not laying down. Um, so, and, and the stubbornness it can take to see a dream through. So you may be faltering in the stubbornness. You may have seen this dream, seen this vision, and uh, you're just, you could be very tired. Uh, you might not have the energy. You might be, you know, losing that stubborn edge. And of course, not being stubborn is great in many cases. But when it comes to a long-term vision or dream, that stubbornness, that stick to and that refusal to lay down um, is, it comes in, is very, very important. So, but right now there's a loss of strength. You just don't feel it. There's a sense of exhaustion and not really, um, having been tested beyond your limit to be able to withstand the stressors, uh, that would challenge your, um, your vision and your idea of what you wanted to see happen. So, you could just you could be have not invested in this dream very much because work and and labors all took over and so the investment hasn't been put into that you know there's just a sense of depleted strength a loss of strength and a loss of determination to continue on with an original vision in your environment though things look really great we've got more wands we've got three wands here which is a, a very inspiration creative heavy reading um, so we've got six of wands. Six of wands is about, um, victory and applause and, um, somebody here, it could be you, it could be somebody else, uh, is receiving some sort of applause, accolades. Um, your success has been the success of others. So whatever you have achieved here, be it in work or a hobby or maybe even a relationship, although I get very little relationship vibe off of this one, um, it has been uh, noticed and valued and you're winning with somebody else's winning as well. So, um, or this could be somebody else around you getting accolades and maybe this doesn't feel very good to you, or maybe it does feel very good to you. Maybe you're one of the ones accolading somebody and, uh, applauding someone else's successes. They, they reflect on you too. And, and you've enjoyed someone else's, uh, successes. So Six of Wands, always a lovely card of success and, um, and that sense of community support for that success. Uh, it's beautiful, beautiful. And in some ways, the essence of being a human, right? Um, being these social creatures, some of us more or less than others, but being an interdependent species that requires each other to survive, this, um, these accolades are just like the species at, the, at its... Um, at its best. And then we have uh, your to-do list, what the energy you need to interact with, look for opportunities to interact with, um, your area of greatest growth is King of Pentacles. So King of Pentacles is long-term. Oh, look, we've got a little crystal ball. We're going to see into the future and figure out where we're going to invest our energies. It's an abundance. It's success. It's success that comes from success in the material world, 
Um, this is not not sacred. Just be, you know, there's this the material world is sacred. It's not not. That's what the um, star and the circle means. Is the circle is the material world and the star is the sacred uh, element of that. The god that uh, the the god and the spirituality that inhabits the the our physical world. Um, so they're not separate. Uh, so there's this abundance here. Um, I believe it comes from your spiritual work or some sort of work you've done on yourself. Maybe it was this work, but this work, this is the paying off of this work. And so whether it pays off right now, right this minute or not, there's a sense of planning for the future, a sense of, um, right. The King of Pentacles has, um, has meticulously planned and laid things out, has seen where he wants to go and has um, enlisted the right help, has, um, you know, this is a, such a slow growing, slow movement. Um, well, maybe not necessarily slow. There's success here. There's success and there's success that was planned for, there's success that was worked towards and there's success that, um, that yeah that benefits others because it's the king the king is looking out outwardly uh and it's the king of pentacles so there's nothing more there's no no more outwardly 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 you know the king is the outward the pentacle is the outward so we have material success here so you either need to be working on planning towards it and the king of pentacles is very um uh, very much a planner and very much a um works hard uh not never a get rich quick scheme in sight with the king of pentacles um he's you know invested very wisely in you know slow growing bonds um and he just uh it's a it's a really secure vibe so being secure in what you do earn and what you have um in your successes so the six of wands could be you having had some success and this king of pentacles is feel secure in that Feel secure in what you are working towards. Feel secure. Have that sense of security, um, a sense of uh, material security, and um, it's either planning for material security and making making methodical, well thought out moves towards with an eye towards future security, or it's um, enjoy the security that you have achieved. Um, actually, it's both enjoying that security that you have whatever measure of security financial or material security you do have uh be making sure you're staying in a space of gratitude and appreciation for that right we've got the six of wands appreciation you should be appreciate you can appreciate that as well so appreciating what you do have um and um with an eye towards towards the future towards planning um for a future um future wealth, future, yeah, future wealth. Okay, and then where you're going, Knight of Cups. This is such an interesting reading because there's several different kind of vibes. We've got this real work material vibe, but then we also have like almost woven uh, in between creating this tapestry of inspiration and work and inspiration and work and intuition and this um, more physical working and this intuition and are they the same project? I kind of don't feel like it. I kind of feel like this is you uh, working on one thing for your earnings and, and creating that uh, future security and abundance um, while also, you know, working with your intuition and your passion projects and bringing and weaving those together. Um, and then in the future or a possible outcome here, we have the Knight of Cups. So this is uh, communication movement i love how it's two horses like just two horses running around a field um you know horses are so expressive i think that that's one of the reasons why they're so um appealing to middle school girls in particular is that expressive nature you can see a horse's mood in every muscle on its body they're very expressive and very um energetic usually unless they're old and then they kind of express their elderliness in the cutest possible ways so, um, but knights are communication and cups are emotional. So, uh, the more secure you feel, oh my God. Yeah. The more secure you feel in what you have in the ground beneath your feet, uh, the more capable you are. This could be this sense of security and um, financial security could be one of the keys or just feeling secure in, in, in your, in your physical 
world and your physical, how you, your, it could be even security in your physical body, you know, just this strong sense of security and, and you belong where you belong and you got where you got through this hard work. Um, and, and you don't need to question it because you earned this. So a sense of having earned something here could be one of the keys to opening up your heart, right? This is about communicating from the heart. This is about communicating from the heart. So we have two cards talking about opening up and communication and movement uh, from the heart. I love how this Knight of Cups sits right underneath. Well, it's not the Queen of Heart, Queen of Cups, Queen of Hearts. It's the same thing. It's not the Queen of Cups, but it's the, it's the Queen of Wands, but it is a big giant heart, like what's in the heart. It's very private, but opening, very private heart here. But opening up about that, um, I think is going to require a sense of security. You feeling very secure in who you are and where you're at in life and what you have, what you do have um, in any kind of physical way. Uh, be it, you know, your what real estate holdings you may or may not have, the corporeal body, whatever it is today, feeling very secure in yourself um, and, and feeling successful enough to be able to communicate and move something forward. Um, so that sense of security could be the, the perfect key here. All right, Gemini, I hope that that was helpful for you. Thank you so much for your lovely patience as I um, had to redo this along with many others. Um, anyway, see you in a fortnight. Thank you.